So let's let's get right into your app then. Um, so yeah, because this is the you know it, it, in the U.S. and I'm I'm other parts of the world too. It's the holidays, so uh, your app is is very appropriate for 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 not just the holidays, but but the holidays in 2020, especially in the U.S. and other parts of the world where there's social distancing. So when families won't be united, so your app to be wonderful. Uh, so please share about it. Oh sure. So the app is called Pee Wee. Um, and it's a story recording app that helps families hear stories read by their loved ones. So um, you're able to use the app and select a story from our library and either record a story reading with your voiceover or you can actually send a request. So it actually all started as like a really fun COVID project. I've had this idea where I always buy books for my nieces, but we've always lived in different states, so I never get to read it to them. So the idea kind of came about so that I can read to my nieces, and even with the time zone difference, it was pre-recorded so they can kind of play it whenever they want. Yeah. Um, started as a fun COVID project and decided, you know what, this might be really fun and help a lot of families as well. Okay, let me know if you can see the screen. I do. It looks like a okay. phone screen. Yes, so this is Pee Wee. This is kind of the home screen you'll see when you open the app. Mm -hmm. And um, we'll just log into an account here. And what you'll see is you'll see. Ooh, oh, yeah, go yeah. back a sec. You'll have your library, which is all the stories that's pre recorded and read by you or read by others. These are fairy tales from around the world. Some of them uh, are, yeah. are, are most of them from the US or uh, Europe. Great question. So the idea was to kind of bring the classic children's stories from around the world into one place. So growing up in China, I actually grew up reading Kong Rao and the Pears. Um, this is the story that every kid in China will learn in school. So it's kind of a, um, you know, when I mentioned I wanted to teach my nieces some of our cultural roots, like yeah. this will be an example of it. In fact, this one story was kind of the inspiration to this whole idea, like many years ago. Okay, so um, when you come to the Discover page, there will be stories and new stories will be added to the library, but there will be classic stories that we're all very familiar with like Alice in Wonderland or Little Red Riding Hood, but then also some that, you know, are um, classics in different countries mm -hmm. that may be not as popular in the States. So for example, Conro and the Pear. So let's select this one because I love this story. And you'll have a brief description of the story and a preview of a couple slides of the illustration just to give you an idea. And you have two options here. You can either record it or you can request it. So let's say we want to record it. So then you click on record. And then what you'll do is you will have the option to record a brief video message, maybe letting them know how much you love them and how much you miss them, or maybe telling them a little bit about the story and you know why you chose to read it to them. Mm -hmm. You can also skip this part, of course. But let's say we re record and then it'll just be like you continuously press and then you accept and then goes into the story reading. So, so this you, is kind of what, mm -hmm. so, so, you, so you record the video of you mm -hmm. sort of introducing saying hi, so and so I'm here to read you a little story hope you enjoy it hope you're well. Love you, Auntie, Auntie Mindy, and then you mm -hmm. proceed to <clears throat> to then start recording your voice for the story. Yeah, so this is kind of what makes it more unique than if you were just recording it on your phone. Um, you know, because this does give a really clean um, digital storybook experience. So once you start Let's Go, this is the storybook that they will be reading. So you will continuously press the red button again to record, just like Instagram or Snapchat. Mm -hmm. And then it will then auto replay what just recorded. So you can hear in real time if that recording is okay or if you want to re-record it. So let's say it's good, go to the next mm -hmm. page, same. Okay. And then once it's done, you have the option to save or gift this story. How long are the stories? So they're generally 10 to 15 pages long, 
designed for like five to 10 minute recordings. So it's short enough for a bedtime story, but also if they want to replay it again and again, it's a great kind of length. So the target audience is between age zero to five. Mm -hmm. So for kids that, you know, want to get familiar with hearing relatives voice that may not be, you know, close by or they see often, but also don't want to be a foreign um, or people that gets really excited to hear voices from their grandparents or their aunts and uncles that people they love and look up to. After you record it, you can give the story and we kind of send it via email. So you just fill out their name, their email, you can record, I mean, write a, you know, a sweet message you want them to see. Mm -hmm. And then your gift is sent and they will be notified via email, even if they don't have the app, that someone has read them a story and they're able to open it on the computer as well. So they don't need to download the app to see the recording. So the way um, we have been launching, because this is really truly um, started as a, you know, a desire to solve a personal problem, mm -hmm. uh, we're totally bootstrapping this. So right. every Looks extra great, feature is something else. So we try to keep it a very minimal viable product for now, really focusing on perfecting the recording experience and also the user experience when they log into the app that it's easy to understand and use. And the idea is once we have more audience or once we have more users, um, there's so many things that, you know, I would love to do. I would love to make this a multi-language so that, you know, my grandmother who may not speak English very well can read in Mandarin and in turn, my nieces yeah. can practice hearing and reading Mandarin as well. Right. That's, that's, that's what and I was that, thinking when, when you mentioned yeah. your grandma. Can, can, can you go into your email and show us what that would look like? I want to I wanna let people hear and see a finished product. Here we go, uh, to, to, to demonstrate for people. Here we go. Hi, Emery. It's Uncle Brandon. Here's a story I hope you enjoy. I hope you're doing well. Hello from Bali, Uncle Brandon. <laughs> Yeah, so then let's see. Okay. Yeah, then you then you start to Once upon a time in the vast land of China lived a boy named Rong Kong. His parents had seven children, and Rong Kong was number six. Kong Rong had five older brothers. He calls them Gigi, which means big brother in Mandarin. To his younger brother, he called him Didi, which means little brother in Mandarin. One afternoon, his dad came home with seven pairs, one for each of the seven children. Kong Rong was chosen to pick first. He walked up to the table and selected the smallest pair out of the bunch. Everyone was rather surprised and asked, why did you pick the smallest pair? Kong Rong replied, I am younger than Gigi, and I respect them. They should have the bigger ones. His father then asked, if that is the case, shouldn't your little brother have the smallest pair? Kong Rong replied, as I am older than Didi, I should take care of him. He should also have the bigger pair. His dad brimmed with pride, and everyone came together to celebrate Kong Rong. All his brothers felt loved and respected. As everyone enjoyed their pair, they reflected on the importance of caring for one another. So it's kind of like, okay, so one of my friends described it. Did you grow up um, watching Reading Rainbow? Yeah, totally. So it's kind of like Reading Rainbow, but read by your loved ones. <laughs> Yeah, and and you know, I, I it, I think what what really makes it nice is it it leverages the phone, right? It really leverages the technology. How does um how does someone uh, find it? How does someone download it and use it? So it's available on iOS and Android store. So just look for Pee Wee, and we will be there, bright and yellow. And other than that, you can also find more information on our website, so peeweeapp.com. Mm -hmm. um, you can also pre 
purchase a holiday gift on there as well. And then if you mm -hmm. want to send on a special date, we will then do that also. Do, does the recipient need to have the app to, to hear the story? They do not need to have to, they do not need the app to hear the story. They do need the app if they want to record a story. Got it. However, even if they don't download the app, um, they will get an email notification where they can open on their website. Mm -hmm. So it's absolutely not necessary. And once you record a story, you co-created it with your voice, right? So you actually, you and the receiver will both have, you know, access to it forever. The app is absolutely free to download and it comes with three free credits. So for you to try and experience the app. Okay. Um, afterwards, you have the option to pay per story or per recording, or you can actually um, sign up for our subscription and just have a Okay, great. The potential yeah. for this is so awesome. I, I get, I love big ideas. And when I start to think about the potential, that really excites me. So with this, um, you know, you, you talked earlier about the different languages that could be employed mm -hmm. and it, 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 you know, it's not just getting Russians to read Russian fairy tales and Indians to read Indian fairy tales. It's about Russians to read Indian fairy tales and Indians to read European fairy tales and, you know, whatever yeah. Native American fairy tales. I mean, all this, I mean, the, the yeah. yeah. How fun would that be? Like this morning, I was just talking to, um, illustrator, from the Philippines and he told me a great story that we are working together to bring to life on the app. And then just right before this call, I was talking to someone that connected me to this writer in Pakistan. So I was asking him, what are some stories in his culture? And he was like, oh, there's a lot. And he's sending me a list and I'm sure we're gonna bring a couple of those onto the app as well. Did you read Joha and the Donkey? No, I have not. <laughs> That's my new favorite. We just launched that one this month. That'll be my next read.